Warning, warning, warning. Let's listen to more warning. Welcome back to my channel. And uh, today, what are we listening? Warning. And uh, yeah, let's get straight to it. I just can't wait. Anything to make it happen. Tell me your secrets. What are you? Remember me as I was before. It's something that I have decided, even if my intent is misguided. Don't want to be. Never mind me. Wow, that's a this first time I hear this slight. Uh, by how do you say vibration in the Danish voice of course this apparently is a slow song but uh, despite the fact that uh, I think the start of the song is slow I think but look at look at her uh, like uh, singing this uh, slow paced song and still she got this uh, that look on her face that uh, we love or I, I love I love her the ah just uh, can you explain to me what's this feeling love it or hate it it's never leaving want to believe that you feel it too there is no reason to even doubt it understand that I am not lying my heart is true it beats for you always staring from afar fantasizing that something might happen always wishing that I was the one killer riffs with the bass again go whale and uh pow in the drums uh, there was some other gig uh, song that i watched uh, it was off camera can't even remember the song but uh, or was it dull knives i'm not sure but uh, at the start of the song Paul, it was uh, in the end of the gig i i assume when Paul was uh, just a uh, going crazy behind the drums and viva la mexico so much energy and she is insane like in the in the vlogs so she is the one who is uh, the most <laughs> um, i say energy in has the most energy i think but it's tot totally insane Pow. No, no. Is there a piano player somewhere on the background, or am I hearing things? Do they have uh, these uh, extras on the uh, on the gigs? I don't know. I, I, I just feel like I, I heard piano. I, I could be <laughs> insane, but uh, who knows? Let me know if you know if they you. Have you been into any gigs where they have a uh, extra uh, keyboard player or something? That would be uh, actually great.
it's weird. Like uh, this was filmed in two thousand eighteen, I think. Of uh, course, I think this is from the same gig that I have uh, made a few other songs or listened to a <laughs> few other songs. I don't make these songs. Anyways, but um, like the girls in this age were uh, typically uh, listen to something totally different, like uh, uh, back in the day, if you know what I mean, uh, back in the day, young girls tend to listen to like Backs Backstreet Boys and all that kind of uh, things. and. Here we have these three awesome girls uh, that uh, already are making music that is uh, above most of the music nowadays, and 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 again it just blows my mind. And uh, great great lyrics once again. How can they write this uh, these things? Uh, as like this was filmed in 2018, but when was this song written? Probably one year, two years, maybe three years uh, earlier. Uh, so at that point, the girls were even younger. That uh, makes you think. Uh, yeah. And I can feel I'm too afraid to ask What is it I need to change for you to love me back? Once again, girls didn't disappoint. Awesome, awesome energy. Once again, and I was uh, wondering there at the end that uh, what kind of uh, uh, audience do they have typically? Like, uh, is there uh, fanboys uh, in the in the front, or what kind of audience do they have? Uh, if you have been to the shows, you should know. But uh, is it? I for one, I I would go to the front to to be the fan boy or the fan man. It it's uh, it's uh, it's it, it's the music that cuts cuts me, get gets to me. I don't know. Maybe I was just confused. I was talking about the Backstreet Boys earlier, and uh, <coughs> the tables have turned, uh, like they were playing some some uh, video that I make. That it was at this one, probably the f one of the first gigs they have played, and it was at the school. So. Now when they play these rock clubs, like these tiny, tiny clubs like Whiskey A Go Go, for example, that uh, uh, made me just wonder what kind of a fan base do they have. It it doesn't matter anything or who cares, but uh, just wondering, just wondering, like, uh, uh, yeah, are they punk rockers or uh, heavy metal heads or just uh, teenage boys that uh, who <laughs> who love the girls uh, above the music that's the thinking that I'm 
trying to do. But yeah, uh, once again, lovely, lovely, lovely song. Uh, bass riffs, awesome. Drums, awesome. Danny, awesome as always. And the band, the whole band is awesome. But Fuck every other band. This band is uh, above them all. Or if it's not right now, it's going to be. Look at me talking like a fanboy. Uh, yeah. And I just got. Uh, <coughs> just got warning. Uh, once again, by YouTube by publishing the warning, but I don't care or give up beep because <laughs> I will continue to do these videos even though the YouTube doesn't uh, want me to or the rights, uh, you know. But hopefully this will get out and not get banned again. But uh, at this point I want to say that uh, so many videos are getting banned, as you may know. And uh, I'm thinking about, uh, or I already made it, it's not public yet, but uh, to uh, making a Patreon account of some kind in some po in point that uh, I will do more reactions there uh, probably sometime in the future just because they are getting banned in YouTube or most of the videos I, I, I make are getting banned so and if some video is get banned in YouTube I will save them to the Patreon but uh, I'm not sure when, when I'm going to publish that Patreon account, but I will let you know if you're interested. And if you're interested, please let me know that, uh, yeah, in the comments. But yeah, warning, once again, rocking away and uh, making me smile and uh, making the day just a little bit better. Yeah, and uh, I think that's it. And thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one and have a great day. See you.